everybody. Shavak here. And uh, this is mission 10. It's called American Fuel, and it takes place 28,000 feet above the Gulf of Mexico. Here. Charlie. What? Any update on that hijacked ship we're after? I'm still working on it. They named the attack American Fuel. A loaded tanker would make one hell of a weapon. What the hell just happened? Don't look at me. Graham? The SMI isn't responding. I'm locked out. Charlie? Trying a workaround. Briggs, you got anything? Nothing. All I got is lighting and internal comms. This is the flight deck. We're losing engine power. How long can we glide? We're talking minutes. Navigation systems are down. We have only manual flight controls. We're gonna check the rear panel. I can't get us up and running that fast. I don't even know how they got control of the plane. Talk to me, buddy, damn it. Flight deck, what's going on? This is the co-pilot. We need a medic. What's wrong? The captain cracked his head when the plane dropped. It's bad. He's unconscious. Repeat, the pilot is down. Is the plane under control? Shit. All the engines are dead. Trying to restart. I'm locked out of the navigation controls. Can you fly? Yes. I mean, no. I can try to keep it together manually, keep her in a glide, but I need another pilot. Takes two people to properly work the controls. I'm the pilot. Where are you going? To get Coven. So we're basically in a situation right now where our, we have a virus which is uh, kind of controlling our plane. Well, not controlling, but creating a scenario where our plane is going to crash. And we got to get Coben because our main pilot is unconscious and the co-pilot just really doesn't seem like he has a clue what to do. So we make our way into the cell here. We're going to release Coben and uh, then we're going to progress onto the mission here and I'll fill you in as we go. It's a two-man job. Dump the power, kill the backup generator, reboot the system. Okay, I gotta get to the flight deck. Yeah, let me out of here, Fisher. Fisher, let me out of here. Take care of the power. Hey, dump some cargo while you're down there. It'll buy us some time. Briggs, head to the back of the plane. We need to lose cargo fast. On my way. I'm leaving a message on the flight recorder in case we don't get it. Sam, I've got the cargo bay door open. We need to lose weight. Dump the chopper. Guys, we're about to hit some rough air. You better strap in. Not an option! Shit! Briggs, get me late on that. I'll shoot it free. You think you can hit it from up there? I guess we'll find out. So Briggs and myself are trying to lighten the load on the plane, I guess to conserve fuel or just to help us glide a little further. Uh, we try to push the chopper out of the back end of the plane and the tailgate seems to tighten up after a little bit of turbulence which uh, pinches the helicopter in here. So we're going to climb up here and uh, there's a couple of little release latches here for the tailgate and uh, you just want to kind of climb around the side here so you can get an angle. It's going to basically, once you get in the right position, it's going to give you an option basically it says to shoot. Pull out your gun, shoot each one of these, it should drop the tailgate, and uh, then we can progress on our merry way. Okay, Fisher, here's the deal. You gotta cut the power so we can reboot the system. You gotta do it now. The reboot console is under the subfloor, below the SMI. So our next objective is to cut the power. So we're gonna progress through this door here in the back hatch, um, or the I guess where the helicopter is stored. And uh, very simple, just walk up the middle here. There's a little uh, hatch or a little crawl space down here. We're going to go down and uh, right here to the back right. We're going to cut the power and then on to the next objective. Uh, remember, don't dilly-dally. Uh, we don't have a lot of time, so map exploration is kind of out of the question. You just want to get to the objective and, and continue on or else uh, 
I'm assuming that we're going to crash and burn. So, anyways, uh, on to the next objective. What's the problem? He wants to reinstall the whole system mid-flight. Yeah, I'd be done by now if this jackass would get out of my way. He'll crash the plane. What the fuck do you think is about to happen? Let him at it. It's active. All right. Okay, for sure. You gotta pump fuel back in the engines, all right? If I get this thing back online, we're gonna have seconds to fire it up. Manual fuel pump controls are in there. All right, once I reboot, you gotta pull back hard. Okay, we're gonna get one shot at this. Three, two, one, now! Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you bitch, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up! What's our status? The main systems are back online. She's flying, but we're flying blind. Graham, internal comms work, but the other communication systems are still offline. Hey guys, what the hell just happened? We were hit with a Stuxnet-style virus. I rebooted the SMI from backup, did a full system scrub, we're clean. How do the engineers get a virus on my plane? We'll do the forensics and get you some answers. Oh shit. What now? It's a communique we received right before the plane went dark. The White House activated continuity of government. What does that mean? It means all the top military and government brass were sent to protected bunkers to make sure they survive. Last time that happened was 9-11. Oh my god. Do you think that last blacklist attack... We don't know that yet, Charlie. Just focus on restoring communications. Well, that's it for Mission 10. Uh, a very short mission, but I can definitely say it kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time. Uh, very suspenseful, very epic. Uh, I just want to say to everyone, thank you for your subscriptions, thank you for your views, and until next time, take care.